hi friends welcome back to api tutorial with laravel 8 today we will learn about how to upload any file using api so to create and test api we need to use the postman and here you can see my laravel application and this is my file and folder structure so first we will create a controller and we'll create a link and we'll test that from the postman okay so just go to the terminal so to create a controller we need to use php artisan make controller suppose my controller name is file upload controller okay so controller created successfully so if you go to the project directory into the app http and controllers will get the file upload controller okay so here we will create a method that is public function suppose my function name is file upload and we need to create a routes to call this so we will use api.php because we will create api and using api we will upload a file so go to the route section so here is the routes and this is the api.php okay so create url route and it will be the post type we can use get but here we will use the post so suppose my url is file upload okay and here we need to name the controller so my controller name is file upload controller okay and colon colon class and my method name is that is file upload okay and before that we need to use the file upload controller here okay so just create a use app http controllers and to write the controller name that is file upload controller okay so now we need to call this file upload from the postman so very simple let's go to the postman and create a request so here we will write the base url of api calling so just use 127.0.0.1800 and api basically we are using api route so we will use this api here and we will use this url which i just created okay and here we can see we are using the post method so we need to write the post here okay so we need to go to the body and use the from data and we will pass the file type data and also my request name is file okay so we can select file from here okay so select one file suppose i'm selecting the image onejpg and we need to upload when we click on the submit button okay so before that we need to write the upload code into the controller so just go to the controller so here is my file upload controller and we will write the file upload code okay so here we will passing the request from postman and we need to receive this request okay so just use the request dollar request okay in laravel the file upload is very easy we need to just write the request and after that the name of the request that is i am using the file so just write it here request file and very simple we will use the store method here okay so using this store method we will upload the file okay so by default it's uploaded the file into the storage app public folder so go to the project directory so here is my project directory so by default if we upload file so it will upload into the storage and app and inside the public so we will upload my file into the public slash uploads folder okay so here we have publics and inside the public we have no files and folders so if folder is not present it will also create the files 
so create a variable that is uploaded files okay and just to return the response that is result so basically it will pass the json type response so result and we'll pass the uploaded files name so just write it here okay so all are set so now go to the postman and we have already uploaded the image one.jpg so click on send button so what we can see so just click on send sorry uh, there is a mistake so in the routes we need to use the controllers here okay so now resend this request so click on send so here we can see the result is public uploads and this is the file name okay so if we go to the project directory we can see the uploads folder and inside the uploads folder the file is uploaded okay so now if we want to save this image name into the database how we can add this okay so very simple if we go to our database we can see the laravel api tutorial basically i have already set up my database so if you go to the environment we can see the laravel api tutorial is using so this is my database and here we have the blocks table so for now i will create another column that is the blog image so go to the structure and add one column after the details okay so here we'll write the blog image and suppose the image is Barker and I'm using the 255 and I'm using the default as null okay so here we can use this so just click on save so I'm using the null because already there is some data and there is no records inside the blog image column so for this i'm using the null so by default if you not provide any image it will not get any error it will just save as a null okay so for blocks table we have the blog model so here if you go to the models we can see the blog model okay so just use this blog model from the file upload controller so here write so use the app models and name of the model that is blog okay so now to save the data into the blog we will pass the title and details also so go to the postman and create another so here i will write the title and i am passing the title is suppose blog image upload and I will pass the details also so here I will write the details and here my details is blog details okay so now just go to the controller so now we will call the blog model so just use the dollar blog variable and we will call the blog model okay and we will save the title and details along with the files name so write the blog and title equal to dollar request title basically this title is for column name of the table and this title we are getting request from the postman so copy this and just use the details for the request and here the details so write it details here okay and for blog image we need to write the blog and here write the column name that is blog image and we need to pass the image name here so when you return the upload files variable in postman we can see the full path but in database we need to save only the name of the image okay so to find the name of the image is very simple we need to write the request file and we need to find the hash name file 
and we need to use the has name method okay so using the has name we can get the result okay so all things we are getting from the postman and after that we need to save this so just blog save okay so these things i am taking it another variable so i am using the results okay so i will check if the blog is saved successfully it will respond a blog saved successfully otherwise it will return a blog not edit okay so just write a condition if result is true it will respond the blog is added otherwise it is not added okay so just write it here blog edit otherwise it will response the blog not edit okay so here we can see first we are uploading the files into our specific directory and after that we will save this name and the title and details also into the database okay so just run this from the postman so here i'm providing the title and details and also providing the image also okay so i'm changing the image so i'm changing the image into suppose i'm uploading the image 3 so now click on the send button and see okay so here is a spelling mistake we need to write the hash name okay so now rerun this so click on the send okay so we can see the blog added okay so just go to the database first and here you can see the blog image uploaded and the blog details that is the image name so basically this is uploaded successfully and if you go to the folder we can see the new image is uploaded okay so this is all about file upload with api and save the name of the file into the database okay so please comment if you have any queries about this video the next day we will discuss about how to use api in the laravel resource controller okay so that will going to be a very interesting topic so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video bye bye